New York Knicks. We We're bringing it to you live on 2K Sports. We're all set to bring you NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. Pass to Randall. Stripped away. Brunson, left side. Towns. And another shot. And it's good on the layup. And you see Big Cat that has the size and coordination. Hard to bump him out of his rhythm. Outside Edwards. Launches a three. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. Greg, this is some kind of note. Last year, Minnesota had, for just the second time, had ever won a series in the postseason. Yeah, they've been bounced in the first round. 10 of 12 appearances. But last year's team was different. Their elite defense fueled the conference finals run. First team foul. Great drive from Brunson. Not afraid to get hit. New York shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. That one falls for Brunson. Ren, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I think it amazes both of us that Jalen Brunson fell to the second round, the 33rd pick back in 2018. So with that in mind, how has he overcome the doubters? Well, the first thing he got was opportunity, Kevin, and that's all you can ask for as a young player. What he was able to do in Dallas opened up the eyes of a lot of people to what he was capable of as a point guard in the league. But trust me, Jalen Brunson has never stopped believing in his ability and confidence to dominate a game the way that we've seen him do that in the past couple of seasons. Second team foul. Brunson, left side. Down to five on the shot clock. Pulls it from 20. And as a defender, Edwards' speed and agility make him tough to shake. No easy shots with him on you. Pass to Randall. Another miss by Minnesota. I saw a green light there. But he's not going to get away with that kind of lapse all that often here tonight. Brunson outside. Here's Hart. And it's McDaniels with the rebound. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. They grab their own miss. And there's Gobert putting it right back in. And Gobert showing how much he wanted that basket. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Tom Thibodeau had a few minutes to share. I asked him how you take care of the stifle tower himself, Rudy Gobert. Coach said, I think you just try to pester him on defense and stay away from him on offense. If he's anywhere near our shooters, that means it's time to move the ball. So they'll have to play keep away when it comes to Gobert. Back to you. Thank you, David. Now here is Edwards. After Mikel Bridges missing his last shot. And you have to stay up on Edwards out there, which is dangerous because he's so good at going right around. And the timeout called here by Tom Thibodeau. He wants to regroup and go over the strategy. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Two minutes remaining in the first. McBride with the ball. Towns with it. Defended now by Dillingham. Back to Towns. That one good for two. Towns has got his second bucket of the game to go. Yeah, and I'll tell you, offense comes really easy to Big Cat. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Edwards. Rebounded by Hart. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Dillingham. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. 
Mikel Bridges picks one up. Explosive play from Dante as he gets the foul. Just keeps pushing through to get the and one. You know, Brent, Josh Hart has been a contributor at the many stops in his NBA career. Sometimes you have to wait to find your home, Kevin. That's been the case for Josh, but he has always contributed to winning. And now he's locked into this role where he is flourishing. This guy has all the tools to go out there and do little things every night to help your team be in a position to win games. The Timberwolves hitting their second and third free throws tonight. And he knocks down the first one. P.J. Dozier at the line, two shots. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. You know, Brent, when you talk about home court advantage, the Knicks have one of the best. Well, New York is so electric, and just, I have memories, Kevin, of walking out on that court, and it's just feeling different. So the Mecca is back, and when it's loud, it is delicious. So it's the Timberwolves now, following the score by New York. Pass to Dozier. On the wing, DiVincenzo. The good-looking shot from the wing. DiVincenzo's got five now. And a quick release from Dante there, just in time, so the defense had no shot at Towns. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Here's DiVincenzo. He's got five. From the arc. It doesn't go for him. It's a tie game in New York. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. The And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. Inside, here's Robinson. Can't hit that one. Gobert with the defensive effort. So it's the Timberwolves now. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin. As always with Tom Thibodeau teams, they are level-headed. He said of his Knicks, we want guys to sacrifice and put the team first. But there has to be that belief. When your best players have it, your entire team ends up having it. We know if we stay disciplined, we'll have a chance to win. Kevin? A very good chance, D.A. Thank you. Count the basket. Great to look at today's point guards. So many different types that can be effective. And there's a lot more freedom to point guards to kind of explore the parameters of their game. Sometimes it's steady in an offense. Other times, it's to ignite it. Second team Substitution on the court. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. From deep. There's Brunson from deep. Totally in rhythm right now. The moment Brunson has the ball in his hands, he's right into that shot. And so Chris Finch calls for the timeout. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Has to go bare. To the inside. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Randall left side. Over Robinson. And the shot's good after hitting off the rim. Well, fleshing out his offensive attack here. Randall comfortable from that range to knock one down. Ah, the overall game of Julius Randle is impressive. He's gritty. He is in there giving it Brent his everything. Yeah, Kevin, you think about that year where he averaged 24, 10 rebounds, and 6 assists. I mean, the only other guys that did that were Will Chamberlain, Oscar Robertson, Larry Bird, Russell Westbrook, Jokic, Giannis. All of those guys won MVPs. That's a heck of a list. 
Now McBride. Following the miss by Julius Randle from deep. Here's McBride. On the high post. Not going to go that time. The D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Back to Conley. Shoots over Shannon. Conley's shot is off. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Over in the corner, McBride. Let's the three fly. Brunson, no good. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. Substitution on the court. The Knicks with the lead. And Hart has it in the corner. It's stolen by Randall. Here's Edwards. Driving the lane. And how about the athleticism from Edwards rocketing off the drive there for the slam. Brunson barreling in. Ananobi has the open look. New York no good that time either. You know, Greg, when you look at the Timberwolves history, the first round had been a problem for it. But not last year, as they swept the Phoenix Suns. And you've got to look at it as being a tremendous success, right? Because going into the season, I don't know that anyone thought they would have made it to the conference finals. But boy, that young group gelled well together and the sky's the limit for the future. Here's Conley following the score by New York. Look at Edwards slotting home the three. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. And Tom Thibodeau decides to call a timeout. He wants to make some adjustments to the game plan, clearly. Both teams deciding to change it up. Back to Towns. And the dunk by Towns. And forget those threes, Cat. Get the easy ones. And there's a whistle. That goes on Mikel Bridges. That'll be his second foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Tillingham. And again, Minnesota with the triple. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give him. Outside, Towns. Stolen by Reed. And stolen by Payne. Bridges outside. It's stolen by DiVincenzo. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Payne with it. Defended now by Dillingham. To the middle. Here's Towns. And Towns throws it down. And this is what Towns is capable of. He's an incredibly gifted offensive weapon who can score at all three levels. Now Dillingham. And Reed has it in the corner. A three-pointer, no good. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Timberwolves lead by one. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. And here's Brunson from deep three-point land. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. GA, as you know, Jalen Brunson is a second-generation NBA player. Yeah, his dad, Rick Brunson, was an 11-year vet who also played overseas and eventually settled in as a coach in this league. So Jalen grew up in those NBA locker rooms. 
to Randall. Outside, Edwards. Tries it from the top of the key. Drain for two points. Edwards got 12 in the game. A good read by Edwards playing at his pace and carving out space for that shot. And here's Brunson outside. Knocks down the three ball. Brunson's got five points in the court. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. The Timberwolves working the ball around. Oh, the lob to go bare. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Conley. Now that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Kevin, thank you. OG Ananobi has become a great complementary offensive weapon. And Coach Tom Thibodeau says he's got a really good feel for it. He's very unique in that sense. He knows how to read defenses and how to attack. Kevin, his acquisition has taken this team to another level at both ends of the court. Yeah, D.A., it's been phenomenal. No question about that whatsoever. Thank you so much. It's Hart on the wing. Ananobi with it. Nothing on the board. Pass to Brunson. Bridges with it. Five to shoot. Offline with his three. Well, Greg, the Knicks have certainly brought hope back to the city of New York. And it's been fun to watch. The fans are rallying behind this team. And it's not just because they're winning. It's the way they're winning. They play with heart and hustle. Brunson goes in. Hart, no good. The Timberwolves trail. Handle with the ball. Hart covering. Edwards, no good. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Pass to Brunson. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Fires the three. New York, no good that time either. And so it's Rendell bringing it up now for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Back to McDaniel. Now Edwards. Here is Conley. Brunson covering. Right side, Conley. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. A tight game here in New York. Brunson with a clean look. New York, no good that time either. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Gobert and the rebound goes to the Knicks. Yeah, I can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. And look at the big man get up when Gobert takes flight. Well, you are in for a show. And Tom Thibodeau decides to call timeout. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. Fifty-five seconds left to play here in the third. And that one's good, Towns. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Dillingham wide open, and he fires from outside off the mark. The Knicks with the lead. Pass to Robinson. Down low. And Towns throws it down. Yeah, an incredible offensive force. Towns showing that strength and touch off. This guy can do it all. The Knicks have gone two for two in the game at the line. Timberwolves trail by three. Reed with it. 16 feet away. No good off the front eye. 20 seconds left to play in the third. And the foul called on Cameron Payne. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Here's Dillingham. 
Pass to Reed. Here's Dillingham. Three seconds left, and he sinks the layup. Dillingham's got five points so far. Not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Next up. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Alexander Walker on the wing. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Right side, Edwards. Reed. And Reed throws it down. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. And Greg, it didn't take long for Anthony Edwards to prove himself in the NBA. There's so much to like about his game. As outstanding as his offense is, his defense cannot be overlooked. He is a lockdown presence when he needs to be. And both free throws, good for Brunson. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Up top, Reed. Beyond the arc. Sinks the three-pointer. And the Timberwolves lead by two. And that was the right call. But when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but... Gets close. He's getting the ball. Here's Ingles. Jalen Brunson picking up that last basket. To the paint. Here's Alexander Walker. Dante DiVincenzo with a real nice team first play. Brunson scanning the floor. Down low. Here's a chew up. And how about they don't waste any time matching that throwdown with one of their own? <laughs> A show of their determination right there. Pass to Ingles for three. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical junction. And Tom Thibodeau decides to call timeout. It's a chance for them to regroup and refocus. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin. Well, let's summarize what Tom Thibodeau went over with his guys during the break. With the game in the balance, coach was calm in the huddle. His main message, execution. He told his team to make sure to remember what they talked about during shoot-around. We've got a great ending in store, guys. Thank you, David. Oh, here's Edwards. Randall with the bucket. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for the Timberwolves? And they've shown great focus on the defensive end, putting constant pressure on the ball and really disruptive in terms of what they've done defensively. And the shot will not go from Ananobi. Greg, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Now, here's McDaniel. Randall with the bucket. And that's how you execute the pick and roll. Randall slicing well after setting the screen. Good timing. Thompson with it. Finally picks him up. New York, no good that time either. Minnesota leading by eight. Pastor Randall. Fades. Rebounded by Hart. New York, they're working against the clock now. Shot to stop the run. Hits the three-point bomb. Adenobi's got himself going there. His first points of the game in the deep ball. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter. Left side, Edwards. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Three points. Edwards got the lead up to eight now for the Timberwolves. Pass to Hart. Now here's Brunson. And again, New York with the triple. Oh, 
huge moment from J.P. Brunson knocking it down. Inside, here's Conley. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And the Timberwolves lead by seven. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Back to Brunson. Oh, Brunson wheeling his way in there. And Brunson's got the mindset to deliver. And it's Conley with the ball for Minnesota. Outside, Edwards. Over in the corner, McDaniels. Towns with the steal. Here's Hart. Out to Brunson. Bridges outside. The three. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. And so they choose to intentionally foul. First team foul. First team foul. 36 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Now it spins. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaking. Two shots. That's good, going one or two from the line, and that increases their lead to six. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They trail by six. And what's their best move at this point? It's still a sliver of hope. Yeah, act fast, but without mistakes. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Ananobi slams it in. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Yeah, the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Any ideas on strategy being discussed right now in that huddle? There's still a sliver of hope. Yeah, act fast, but without mistakes. Here is Edwards. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock that's the enemy in this situation gets the first and that puts them up by five Anthony Edwards so he gets them both and it's a six point ball game Ooh, I think that's a wrap and I can tell you you can't have more pressure packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game and an intentional foul right there team foul so the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's an eight-point game. And so the Timberwolves take the win. A solid win on the road for them. To